<laughs> Hi, welcome to this channel on Magnetic Energy, Technology, Principles, Applications. This video is a Q&A video for uh, the year 2026, and, and I've referenced this, so I hopefully this will kind of give some clarity on it. This is highly unconventional information, of course. Now, even though we've been given hundreds of, we've had hundreds of examples of higher information that we were given that we later verified in the physical world, and so we've come to trust the information, I still am very cautious about any type of future information. And so please do not just take my word for this. I'm asking you to please go into your heart energy center with any of the information that I talk about regarding the future and let your heart tell you, your heart energy center, let it tell you please if it's something that you should believe in or not. Because I, I don't want to try to convince you of something that you're not necessarily meant to believe in or even whether it's true or not. I don't, it doesn't even matter for me. I just, I'm hoping that you will follow your own heart guidance on this stuff because there's so much information out there and I feel like so much of it is completely in dissonance with our heart energy centers and universal consciousness. But people, for whatever reason, seem to really gravitate toward it and that's okay. It's, it's just please trust your heart in this and bring your focus and your attention into your heart if you will, when you're thinking about this type of stuff that I'm presenting. Now, here, I'm going to give you the nutshell of kind of what we've been told over the years and, and where all of this is coming from so that you get a kind of the big picture of where, what we've been given. So humanity is, is really flirting with extinction level events, like at least close to extinction level events from so many different directions. Now, the magnetic tech, of course, it's capable of helping humanity not only have a safe and like, you know, really sustainable future, but it's capable of curbing extinction level events. And I think that's the big thing that's so cool about it, but it cannot be released without some level of ascension in humanity. And that is where we are coming into this huge problem. I think 99% of the population would want some level of ascension. I mean, we desperately want this, including me for my own life and my own work and my own personal everything I would love for this to happen and so I'm highly like involved and I have so much that I really am desiring and so that's a lot of ego and a lot of emotions and so it's really hard for me to get clarity sometimes on this so there is just according to the information we've been given there's just not enough time to allow humanity to evolve naturally into some level of ascension where the magnetic tech and everything could come out. There's just not enough time. We'll, we'll be deep in terrible events before that happens. So the accelerated process of ascension requires some level of genetic modification. And that process is set to begin in 2026. So let me get into some of the questions. So is free will being circumvented during this um, ascension process? And the, the thing that we've gotten and I've gotten massively hard, hard not like it's an absolute no. No level of free will is being circumvented in this process. Every being that's involved in this process has already agreed at a higher level to engage in this process and to be involved in it. So there's absolutely not, there's no level of free will at any level that's being circumvented. Um, why is the process starting in the lunar cycle of 2026? Now this is just the information we were given, okay? So I'm trying to give my best of to answer the questions. The galactic rotation that we're involved in is bringing us into a new radiation region of space. So there's a new type of radiation that's going to be bombarding our solar system as we move into this region. And that is basically that's going to begin in 2026 where we get into this new area. We're right almost there. We're just we're approaching it. So this new radiation that's going to be basically flooding our solar system is going to be seeded by these higher beings. They are seeding it. In other words, they're like adding like resonant tech and they're adding like resonant signatures to it. So they're seeding it to elevate all biological genetic systems on our planet. So that's the idea, to elevate all biological genetic systems on our planet. Will the process be instant? No. If the process were instant, now keep in mind in this model, we are talking about 
a, an attract pressure system. So everything in our solar system, well, and, and then in the universe, all occurs through attract and through pressure. And that includes our biological bodies, our biological systems. And this is a largely, this is a physical process that we're talking about. We're not, I mean, yes, our energy bodies and higher dimensions and everything is involved, but the real target of this whole operation is physical reality and our physical biological systems so that that the genetic modification can take place. And now, this is an interdimensional process. Make no mistake about it because the modification of our energy bodies can transform our physical DNA. But the ultimate goal here of all of these beings involved is the modification of physical genetics. And so whether it's, you know, and this is could be, you could call it an epigenetic process and that's fine. Cause I mean, that's essentially what it is in some ways but it's a little more permanent than that. So if it were to be instant, irreparable like biological damage would occur so you can't just like up the pressure in the system and cause changes instantly it would cause so much damage to physical systems around the globe including our our human bodies that the damage would be irre irreparable and so that's why the process has to be incredibly gradual so that it's safe, so that it doesn't hurt anyone, so that we don't damage the DNA, we don't damage our cellular systems through the process. Um, will solar flares cause the ascension process between like now and then in 2026? Um, as far as we know, they are going to contribute to the process. They may not be the main driving force of the process, but they will contribute to what's happening with the process. Um, now, as far as solar flares and the electrical grid go, I'll just say this real quick that as far as we know, there will be no cataclysmic electrical grid failure around the world, like the whole world from solar flares. And so, cause there's a lot of predictions about that. As far as I know, and the information we've been given, that won't be allowed. Now there may be regions of grids that go down to high solar flare um, and CME activity. So, I mean, that is very much a possibility like in the next year or so that that could happen to certain grids around the world. Now they will be able to be repaired, I'm assuming at that point, but it will be a huge wake up call for how vulnerable our technology is, how um, really inadequate electricity is and how magnetic technology will be far superior to it. Um, will a pull shift cause the ascension process? Now, as far as we know, given the information, what's happening, what's starting in 2026 is this whole program, and I said like initially, like it's like this like three year process that will elevate humanity to a certain level of ascension, and then that will be held in check for a long time. The real, the majority of the process from what we were told will be caused, if you want to say it that way, or the largest contributor, contributor to the ascension process will be the pole shift. This initial thing is kind of to prepare humanity for the pole shift and so much that's involved in that process. But the pole shift itself will be the main contributor, as far as we've been told, to the actual ascension process that will trans that will be like permanent like greater transformation to all biological systems on the planet. So what's happening now is kind of prepping everyone and like raising everyone's level up to that process. Will magnetic technology come out to the public in 2026? I, I highly doubt it. Now the awareness of the concepts of magnetic technology may get much greater in 2026 due to like certain releases of information and certain releases of like like transitional technology that are leading us in that direction. But I highly doubt it will fully come out at that point. Um, it'll probably take, no, it'll be a few years. I, I assume after that, as we go through these like gradual ascension stages, um, is electricity going to end in 2026? Hopefully not. I mean, there may be some grids around the world that go down temporarily, but we should have other grids are still up so that there will be the ability to manufacture um, new transformers and new parts that are necessary to repair those grids around the world, depending on where those grids are located. Uh, so, oh, is astrology playing part of the 2026 changes? I, you know, it's so weird because astrology is like interconnected to everything in, in, in so many ways. You can always find something amazing and some amazing coincidence 
co coincidence or connection or some archetypal meaning in astrology with almost every event that takes place. Now, 2026 is no exception. There's a, there's extraordinary astrology that's going to be coming in 2026, and I might do a separate video about that. But I mean, we're entering really amazing astrology right now. It's always happening. Are animals going to ascend in 2026? Um, they may actually go through this process faster than humans because they have less ego and, and resistance and everything. So you may actually see changes in your behavior of your pets, for example, and even animals in nature that are significantly different starting in 2026 and the ability like I'll just you'll just just watch and see and observe. It'll be very interesting. Is there anything we need to do for the beginning of the ascension process in 2026? I mean, my main thing I think that people I really believe you should practice on is tuning into your heart's energy field. I really think that's important because so much comes from that and it taps us into universal consciousness, universal guidance, universal heart energy, all kinds of powerful things. So I would say please do your very best to, to bring your attention and your focus and your awareness into your heart energy center because I think it's really important for us. And then as we go through the ascension process, we will get more and more clarity and more and more understanding of what we are supposed to do with the process, like not only physically, in terms of if we need to move for the coming changes or if we need to buy certain things or make certain things or start certain relationships or whatever it is, all of those things will become clearer and clearer as we go through the ascension process. And I think that's a lot of that is going to be prepping us for pull shift stuff. So um, are we likely to see more UFOs in 2026? I think we're very likely to see. I think UFO sightings are actually going to go up dramatically as people start to go through this process. And the weird thing is, is if you had the technology and, and top secret organizations around the world, blah, 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 they have the technology that you can see into like the actual number of UFOs. And I mean, right now, I, I don't want to say anything too crazy and out there, but there are literally thousands and thousands of UFOs around our planet right now. Um, not only like interdimensionally, but like you could say they're being cloaked or whatever it is, but I mean, there, there are thousands. And so we are kind of on stage right now. Our world is is on center stage because we have such dramatic changes coming and such important changes coming. And those changes are part of a large network of energy systems and solar systems. And so all of it's very important to a lot of beings out there. Um, we're, will our paranormal abilities start in 2026? Y you know, for some of us that are really sensitive to these changes, that some people are already picking up on this. There's no doubt about that. And they've been picking up on these changes for years. But in 2026, the ramp up level of that and the seeding of the incoming energy is going to, the sensitive people are probably going to immediately start picking up on it. And I think, yes, their psychic awareness, their ability to foresee the future and, and so on, all of those paranormal abilities are going to start becoming enhanced. And I, it's going to come through the heart energy center. I can't say that enough because that's what the seeding is doing. It's making this center so much stronger and more powerful so that our interconnectivity becomes more of, like in our awareness. And so our conscious awareness connecting with our hearts, our heart energy center awareness is the transformation that is huge and it will transform every area of society like I've talked about in so many videos. So please continue to send in questions and keep the dialogue going. And I thank you so much and I will see you next time.